Winston Churchill, Abraham Lincoln, Isaac Newton, David Thomas. But who is David Thomas? Can anyone answer that? I will modify uh, okay. David Thomas is an unknown. He died in the farmland of Texas. Unknown. Circumstances is hardly favor the famous. They fight their way through all forms of obstacles. Mr. Dustmaster was welcome guest, fellow members. I am Emmanuel Shinipo, and the title of my speech is Leaving a Legacy. Leaving a Legacy. Actions are great, goals are excellent, but it's the principle and the philosophy behind it that drives you to fulfill your dreams. So tonight I'll be taking you through six principles to live in a legacy. The first principle is service to others. This does not mean you not aspire to what you want to be, but in doing and in getting all you get, serve other people. Great men show their greatness by the way they treat little men. Die when I may, let it be known, let it be said by those who know me best, that I always pluck the tissue and planted the flower where I thought the flower would grow. Words of Abraham Lincoln, also true. Have you thought about that? The second principle of living a legacy is Integrity. Integrity. Keep your word to your heart. <coughs> mm. I like to quote Winston Churchill. The truth is incontrovertible. Malice may attack it, ignorance may derail it, but in the end, there it is. Also true. The third principle is risk. Take a risk, could be a risk, they say. Without risk, there'll be no love, there'll be no relationship, there'll be no marriages, there'll be no business success. So take a risk, or be a risk. There was a statistic done some time ago, and I like the statistics of people in their deathbed, they were dying, and they asked them, what did you regret most in life? And they said, they wish to take a more risk in their lifetime. What a place to find out. So you guys have a whole lifetime ahead of you. Choose to take a risk each day. The fifth or the fourth principle is um, so you saw what you read. What what you see in others exist in you. Life is an echo. Why do I say that? If you sow time, you reap time. If you sow money, you reap money. In fact, you reap more than you sow. If you sow a seed, you reap harvest. So, so good seeds. The fifth principle I'll talk about is hard work is not a waste. Hard work is never a waste. Work hard. Um, statistics says that if you have a roof over your head and food on your table, you're better than 75% of the world's population. That's not very good statistics. Another statistic says that 